Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here and welcome back to my expansion pack refresh series where I talk about how I would refresh each and every expansion pack so far released for The Sims 4. So I've done one on Get to Work, and then I did one for Get Together. So continuing the chronological order, I am going to be doing City Living this time around. At this point, I feel City Living is kind of around the middle for me in comparison to the other expansion packs. It's not the best expansion pack, but you could definitely do a lot worse. However, there are some glaring flaws with this pack that I really hope do get addressed if this does get a refresh. I don't feel like it has a particularly high chance of being refreshed, but still, I like entertaining the idea of going through each and every expansion pack and being like, well, if I could refresh this pack, what would I do? I thought Get Together was a challenging one to make, but this was even tougher for me because there are like two or three obvious ideas in my opinion, but then after that, it gets a little tougher, especially considering some of the stuff that I would have added to this pack has already been done in different DLC, like Bowling Night stuff. Yeah, I would have put bowling in this pack, but well, that's already happened. And also with dance clubs, we got that with Get Together. So those are two potentially big points that I would have included, but well, they've already been done in other packs, so can't really change anything about that. But enough of the behind the scenes talk, let's get into the meat of this video. So the first idea I want to bring up is having apartments in any world. This is what should have been possible from the beginning, even though it is still called city living, but like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We've been able to have apartments in any world in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, and I think we should be able to do that in The Sims 4. I remember how angry I was when I learned that it was going to be the case with City Living and went on a big ol' rant about it. <laughs> so whether we get to actually like make any lot we want into an apartment, kind of like in The Sims 2, or if they were restricted to shells, in The Sims 3, but we could just place those shell buildings in other worlds. At least that would be an improvement <laughs> over what we have now. It would also give the developers more creative freedom if we were able to build apartments in any world. Because we have gotten apartments a couple more times after City Living. Because we kind of got them with the dorms in Discovery University, where they even have like the elevator going up to the penthouse sort of thing. And then we also got apartments in eco lifestyle, but once again, they were just shells. They were different looking shells in comparison to the skyscrapers that we have in city living, but still very restricted. I'd also love to be able to customize the apartment's hallways without the assistance of the tool mod. Then we could add even more personality to our apartment buildings, and then it's not always the same in every game. So that's the first very obvious idea out of the way. The other one is revolving around elevators, because I was also super annoyed when I found out that the elevators in The Sims 4 are just glorified teleporters. The doors don't even open and close, The Sims just walk towards them and then they just appear at the other end. <laughs> super disappointing. It's such a massive downgrade in comparison to The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 where the elevators were much better because they were animated and you could even woohoo in them, which I thought was pretty humorous. Lerma Luzi, wibble woohoo. <laughs> I almost forgot that in The Sims 2, your Sims could possibly die in the elevator if it malfunctions, so a woohoo and a death spot all in one, where could you possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, in The Sims 3, I do remember that elevators would sometimes take a long time, but then with mods, it sped up, so if we do somehow get functional elevators in The Sims 4 with animations, then hopefully they could work better. I guess there could be still a chance that we would get them in a hotel's game pack than getting them in a city living refresh. But still, I really hope that functional elevators could happen in the game without needing mods. I'm just not sure if it's technically possible for them to revamp the elevators that are in the city living shells. That probably will not happen. Also, a random idea I just came up with because I said revolving around earlier 
and it made me think, what if we got revolving doors? <laughs> yeah, they kind of fit with the urban setting of city living. But yeah, I'm surprised I've never ever thought about the idea of having revolving doors in The Sims until now. Next, I'd like to talk a bit about festivals. So thankfully, since the pre-Cottage Living update, we've been able to see in the calendar when City Living festivals will happen. That's great! But I would like the festivals themselves to be improved a bit more. Like, how about getting more configurations of the same festival so it doesn't look exactly the same each and every time? Especially if you have certain packs, it could integrate those objects as well. Like with GeekCon, for example, what about putting in that big arcade cabinet from Get Together? Maybe they could also put in the chocolate fountain from Luxury Party stuff in the Humor and Hijinx Festival, because they reuse the mesh of that anyway, so why not? Also, I know I brought up slow dancing in the Get Together video already, but it could also go pretty well with the Romance Festival, so that could be a new thing that could be brought back. One new-ish sort of object that I'd like to see tie into GeekCon as well is the return of the buzzer beater free throw machine from The Sims 3 store. Basically, this is an arcade game where you play basketball, and if you have two of them beside each other, then you can have your Sims compete. And I think this would fit in with City Living. I was debating as to whether I would also include this in the Get Together Refresh video, especially considering I did suggest some arcade things. But the thing is, with City Living, we did get the basketball hoop, so I figured thematically this could match with it, and then also having it at GeekCon in any of the varying configurations. But as a brand new addition to The Sims, I think it would be fun if we had a playable video game that mixes Guitar Hero and karaoke games. I would suggest a full-on rock band sort of deal, but that would be, I guess, more for a band's game pack because we did not get drums in City Living and we don't have them in the game still, officially anyways. So that's just what I'm suggesting for now. And I think it could be a fun tie into the singing skill because singing skill is really just used for karaoke in this pack. So it could be used for this video game too, not just at the karaoke bar. There are a couple of improvements that I'd like to see made to the world of Samai Shuno itself. The first being, we should be able to swim in the lake in my Shuno Meadows, because there is just so much space there. I think that'd be great for boating and swimming. I also wish our Sims could actually use the trains that we can see in the background of the Spice Market and the Fashion District. Ideally, I would love to be able to go into the train station, go up to the platform, and watch my Sims go into the trains, but even if you were just able to click on the train station object and be able to have like the travel menu and then go into the loading screen, kind of like the bus stops in Henford on Bagley and Cottage Living, at least that would be something. One aspect that I love about City Living is the variety of different food that we got from varying cultures but I don't like how there's so few of each. I mean, with the Indian food here, we only have three. I'm happy that in a free update earlier this year, we did get Palak Paneer and Butter Chicken, because Butter Chicken's actually my favorite Indian dish. But still, I would love for a couple more dishes to be added to each culture represented in City Living to diversify the selection even more and just give better representation of what each cuisine entails. Bringing up Create a Sim for a bit, there actually is one major thing that I'd like to see, because toddlers were not in The Sims 4 until a couple of months after City Living's release, so there's no toddler items in City Living. But I would like for that to change, especially with the cultural representation that it has, and uh, it also does remind me of my disappointment with the Inchon Arrivals and Fashion Street Kits not having anything for toddlers, so I think a City Living Refresh would be a really great chance to have more diverse clothing, not just for teenagers and older, but also for children and toddlers. I mean, maybe if some of the new clothing for toddlers also made sense style-wise on children, why not also convert them for children? <laughs> but I think if they did do this, it would also be nice if we did get a few items in a free update alongside it, since that is what they tend to do on occasion. They even did do that recently before those two kits came out. 
And this happens to be a perfect segue into free content. So I suggested earlier that we get some new video games in City Living itself. But one thing I find really weird about City Living is that we do have a regular video game console. It's only exclusive to this pack though, whereas to bring up The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 again, we had that right from the start in the base game, so I think that should also apply to The Sims 4. But in this specific case, if we have one or two new video games in City Living and then bring that regular console forward to the base game, then I think it's a worthy trade-off. It's not like some other instances where they are just straight up taking something out of a pack and retroactively making it free. I also think we should get online dating for free. I actually remember SimGuru Grant, back when he used to work on The Sims 4, said that he's wanted this in the game since City Living, so we still don't have that many years later. Pretty ridiculous at this point. But over the years, online dating has become more and more of a commonplace thing, so I don't think it needs to be restricted to just a paid DLC this time around. So there's my ideas for a city living refresh if it ever happened. Mainly, I would really love to see the apartments and elevators to be improved and bring them more in line with what they were in the previous games, but there's some other stuff they could add too to just make the pack overall more exciting. I'm very curious to see what your ideas would be for a city living refresh, so feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest gaming content, including life simulations and more. So I will talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching!